All right, so in the next part of this exercise file, we have a few uh, curvy lines down here. This one says use extrude curve along curve and see what happens, and then undo and use sweep one instead. So if we have a curve and we want to create a bench, let's say, we might think, oh, we could draw a rectangle. I've just drawn a vertical rectangle here that is the correct size that I want for my bench, which is one meter wide by half a meter high. And maybe I could just extrude this curve along the curve and um, create a uniform bench that way. So let's see what happens. If we do extrude curve along curve, select the curves to extrude, which is these ones here, and press enter then select the path curve near start. That's this. And I'm going to just press enter for the whole path curve. And you can see um, something interesting happens. So first of all, we selected two rectangles and we selected a path here, but we have two shapes that have resulted from that. Basically what Rhino did was it took both of these rectangles and it extruded them along this curve at the same time, even though there wasn't a curve up here. That's obviously not desirable. So let's try this again, just with one curve. So extrude curve along curve, select the curves to extrude, select the path and press enter. And there it extrudes it along this curve. But again, we can see the rectangle isn't changing orientation as it is swept along the curve. So when it gets to this point, it's just a straight rectangle being swept up here and then it uh, extrudes again to the very end. So this isn't going to be helpful for us. So let's undo that and use sweep one instead. So I'm going to use SW and go down to sweep one. I'll select this as my rail and I'm going to select these as my um, sweep shapes and hit enter and hit enter again. And now we can see that this is um, much better, but it's still a little bit uh, off kilter here in the center. So let's see if uh, changing some of these session, um, some of these options could help us. If we turn on global shape bending, we can see that the profile looks like it's being bent and oriented along, which um, leads to a more even shape. So I'm gonna hit okay and accept that. And I'm just going to measure to make sure that the dimension here, which is one meter, is the same as the dimension here if I, um, if I measure across to a perpendicular. So it's 0.99, which is almost exactly right, but it's not exactly right. So this will get you um, a pretty good result, but an even better way to do this would be to just offset your curve by one meter cap off the ends with a line, and we can just use the extrude command. EXT for extrude. I'm gonna make sure it's only on one side. It's a solid, and I raise it by 0.5, and I have a perfect bench just the way I want it with the right dimension all the way across. They look almost identical, two different methods of doing it. This one is slightly more accurate, um, but you know it's good to know options and different ways to do things.